Welcome to Polymer Update TV, the world's first and only TV network with the free petrochemicals news show. It is Tuesday, December 18th. I am Indra Singh. Our special news reel today is sponsored by Pune-based Parmar International Private Limited. Let's start with energy and feedstock news. Crude oil prices fell on Monday to their lowest since early October 2017 as global growth fears overshadow effort to curb production by major producers OPEC and Russia. WTI traded at $49.88, a sharp drop of $1.32 per barrel, while Brent finished at $59.61, a fall of $0.67 cents per barrel. Open spec naphtha prices dropped by $9 US dollars per metric ton to the $501 US dollars per metric ton CFR Far East Asia levels. Ethylene prices in Asia on Monday gained. The price rise was mainly on account of a lift in buying inquiries and lack of spot offers in the region. CFR Northeast Asia prices of ethylene were assessed up at the 875 US dollars per metric ton mark, a rise of 20 US dollars per metric ton from last Friday's assessed levels. CFR Southeast Asia prices were assessed higher at the 775 US dollars per metric ton levels, a sharp increase of 30 US dollars per metric ton from last Friday. Input offers for PET resin in India. Wangkai of China has offered its PET resin IV 0.80 grades as below for shipment in January 2019. PET bottle grades were offered at the 1,110 US dollars per metric ton CIF Mumbai and CIF Chennai. PET bottle grades were also on offer at the 1,140 US dollars per metric ton CIF Kolkata. Let's take a look at futures on China Dalian Commodity Exchange for today. On December 18, 2018, LLDP prices are lower by 50 RMB per metric ton from the previous settlement at the 8,575 RMB per metric ton. PP rates are down by 70 RMB per metric ton from the previous settlement at the 8,580 RMB per metric ton. PVC prices are lower by 35 RMB per metric ton from the previous settlement at the 6,355 RMB per metric ton. In plan news, JXTG Nippon Oil and Energy is likely to restart its cracker this weekend, following an unplanned shutdown. The cracker was taken offline on December 10, 2018, owing to technical issues. Located at Kawasaki in Japan, the cracker has an ethylene production capacity of 448,000 metric ton per year and propylene production capacity of 273,000 metric ton per year. Polymer Update is now on Google Assistant and Google Home devices. Just ask the right questions about polymer-related news and prices. Our special news reel today is sponsored by Pune-based Parmar International Private Limited a supplier of plastic raw materials, mainly PVC resin, CPVC compounds and polyethylene. That's all for today's Polymer News. Watch our daily news video tomorrow to know more. It is Tuesday, December 18th. This is Indra Singh. Thank you. Find us on Facebook at facebook.com slash Polymer Update and be sure to click the like button. You can also find us on Twitter at Polymer Update. For the latest news from the plastics and petrochemicals industry, subscribe to our YouTube channel and do not forget to hit the bell icon.